Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Key Wisdom to Raw. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This Sagittarius is your brand new weekly reading, your week in brief. I'm going to draw three cards initially. Your first card is going to relate to work and money. Second card for love and relationships or whatever your romantic situation is. And number three is going to be your overall energy and focus for this um for this for this week. Okay. Um I've already shuffled and meditated, etc. But I'll just give them a quick shuffle and then we'll get started. They're they're ready. Whoa. Interesting, Sag. Okay, there's, there's there's a heavy focus on on finances for you this week. Anyway, um, there's a heavy focus on on work and finances for you. Um, no matter what else is going on, so even in your relationships potentially, finances is an issue. Um, you know, there's a lot of focus for you on your career and or money this 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 week, Sagittarius. Okay, this is your first card. Um, which, as I said, specifically relates to work and money. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So that's nice. We've got money. Uh, you've got some money anyway. <laughs> um, the Queen of Pentacles is related to the sign of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Earth signs. And it's and the Earth signs or Pentacles energy is about manifesting in this world. So have, seeing in the world the, the wealth and the energy that we put into our relationships, the energy we put into our jobs, etc. In this position, because it's related to to work and money, this is about you nurturing something, you nurturing um, your money, you know, maybe investing your money, some of you, um, you know, taking a, you know, making a, an important purchase. There is another one that wants to come out. Making an, an important purchase, for example, it's this one, um, or putting money into something um to see it grow you know changing your you know it might be shares for example um you you it's not risky it's not risky it's not a risk it's it's not a risk yeah it's it's, it's definitely not a risk um there's something for some of you you're doing you you're doing something to to build to grow to secure your future security your future future financial security whether that's making an investment as i said in a person in a business you know going into business with others for example it's not a risk it's not a risk not it is not um there's there's the security there's security here and for those of you who aren't making investments and <laughs> and things like that there's just security in your work this week you're feeling very secure you're feeling very um like you could stay here for a long time you know the company that you're working for or the business that you're in you you know this is something that you could you you can see yourself um here for a long time you're feeling contented which is really really nice in your work this week so there's there's two different different scenarios um you know but but overall it's contentment and it's security that, that we're feeling uh the three of pentacles um relates to uh, it's a master number number three relates to the ascended masters the wisdom of all those souls that have gone before us and us tapping into that and that is what's something that gives us that compassion actually and gives us that cooperative nature and so there's this idea this week that people are just feeling it's nice it's a really nice feeling Sagittarius um but there is security for some of you it's not a risk okay um the second card is your love so let's have a look at your love and if these are all pentacles I'd laugh my head off but um, <laughs> something you've got to work on it's got it's the eight of pentacles now 
eights are related to um, a karmic cycle. They're related to, to cycles, the beginning of cycles, cycles that we've repeated. And we, we go through these cycles because to, to gain understanding, to gain clarity about, about our, ourselves, to shed a light on who we are, to understand who we are. And what we sh and, and why we're in this world, and, it, and and what we're here for, and in this instance with the Eight of Pentacles, it's and in this position related to love. It's like some of you are re rethinking, actually rethinking a relationship or reworking on a relationship. It might be, you know, you've been in this relationship forever. You're in this relationship. You're married, or you know, you're committed, but you sort of just you've decided you've you've sort of made a mental commitment a promise almost to yourself to i'm going to try be more open i'm going to try be more communicative i'm going to try be more um truthful about what i'm feeling what whatever it is it's like something that you've not been doing very much of up to now you're realizing you've not been doing very much of it and you're trying to implement that in your relationships this week in your love relationships this week even if you're completely single um, and you're not dating anybody, you'll be thinking about, you'll be recognising who you have been in the past in relationships, you know, how you've been behaving in, the, in your past relationships and, and, and wanting to do something different. Maybe um, wanting to behave differently now as you go forward. You know, maybe the... Um, you know working at it this for some for those super singles out there you know this is you guys you know on your tinder on your match.com and all that stuff you know the dating websites etc which by the way i cannot use for obvious reasons you know i can't <laughs> my friend used to send me um she stopped doing it now she used to send me pictures of the guys on tinder that she'd been matched with and just ask me what do you think of this guy and i'd tell her because i can i can read them obviously and um she'd be like no I don't get that vibe and then she, six months later she'd be like yeah you were right he was married or whatever so <laughs> so I can't use tinder or or um any sort of dating thing like that because I can just see everyone's life stories so I don't bother um but yeah for some of you it could be that it's been a strain on your finances you know joining these dating agencies or whatever but you're gonna put the work in you're gonna put the effort in and the money in to if you need to as i said pay for a subscription for one of those dating things or whatever you might do that this week um but but it's very settled energy this week it's very you're very feeling quite settled and quite grounded this week this is your overall energy um the six of cups so you are looking back to fonder happier times um it's really nice energy this week. You're feeling, you're feeling like you've come a long way. You, you know, you, you, you're feeling like, you know, I've done a lot. I've achieved a lot. I can be happy with, with, with where I'm at. You know, I, I've, I've done. I'm going through my healing. I'm, I'm making improvements in my life. Um, you know. It, it's nice to be reflective. It's important that we are reflective, and really, that's what this. It, it, this is like for you it's about really counting your blessings this week you know recognizing that even though we've had some tumultuous i love that word even though you've had some tumultuous um oh it's a great word isn't it um transits this this month uh, this year sagittarius look how far you've come you know and people you know you're one of those sag that you just you just kind of you don't tell you won't tell people you know if you if you're stressing out if you if you're finding things difficult you won't tell them you'll like keep that to yourself or you won't say the specific reasons you won't tell people what the reason is you've been upset or you you or you're upset or nervous or whatever and not fully so you've kind of dealt with a lot of this within you you know you've kind of dealt with a lot of you've been dealing with a lot of imbalances this this year, um, Sagittarius. You've been dealing with a lot, and it really seems like you're coming, you're looking back this week and saying, "Do you know what? I've actually done all right." You know, I've actually just taking your thumbnail. You're actually feeling like, "Do you know what? I've actually done all right. I'm I'm doing. I'm not doing too badly." You know, and and you're not doing too badly. You've done. You should be proud of yourself. I mean, pride. Yeah, we, I don't like to use that word, but do you know what I mean? You should feel good about yourself, happy about yourself. You know, 
feeling like I've done it. You're being reflective, which is just really, really beautiful and really positive. Very settled week. So overall this week, you should be feeling like counting your blessings this week. You know, realising the work that you've put in, in your relationships, in your self-worth, you know, feeling good about yourself, you know, accepting yourself. And also, you know, feeling very good and content at work, you know, people wanting to work with you, those people that are into shares and making investments, etc. Or you want to make an investment to a company or to invest in your friends or whatever, business or something. The security, the security there, it's, it's secure and... It's, it's a positive it's a positive way, place to put your money. I'm not giving you no advice, though, so don't be coming here saying blah, blah, blah. <laughs> My job is tarot reader, not financial advisor, but, you know, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's good, settled. Okay, that's it. If you want a bit more information about your about this first week in November, check out your bi-weekly general readings, which I uploaded last week. They run to the 11th of November. I'm going to be putting up your love readings your full love readings for November next week as well. Um, and you can catch, um, your pick, there's pick a card readings, etc. already on my channel. Um, follow me Insta, follow me on Facebook, Key Wisdom Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, Sagittarius. Have a wonderful week and I will see you all next week with your love readings. Take care, bye.